Most creatures love to have kids and like to bring them up. But there are some creatures which do not like to raise their young ones. Here is a list of those. Number 1 is Cuckoo Bird. Cuckoos are medium-sized birds which mostly live in trees and have long tails. Few species of this family are brood parasite, which means they lay their eggs in nest of other birds so that they do not have to raise their young ones. These birds are so clever and some of them have the ability to lay eggs with color resembling host bird eggs and even their babies match with color of bird in which they lay their eggs. Each species have the ability to lay egg in a variety of colors to match with host eggs. In addition, eggs are hatched before the host's own eggs and the young ones of these birds grow at a faster rate than host offspring. For instance, a very popular cuckoo bird, Asian coals have black offsprings to match the co-host. Another example is Australian coals which have brown cheeks to resemble honey heater hosts. They usually try to choose such position for their habitat where they can have access to maximum variety of other birds which can serve them as their host. But it is not always the case. In some cases, brood parasites differ in size and color of their host. Still, other birds keep on raising their young ones. This is because if eggs are detected and rejected by host, some of these species become aggressive and destroy the nests and eggs of host. Some hosts also have some defense tactics like ejection of parasitic egg upon detection or puncturing. Some of them even destroy their own nest and start building a new one. Few just ignore the parasitic egg or even parasitic baby to starve, but mostly they keep on raising them without knowing that they are not theirs. Despite of being raised by other birds, the young ones of cuckoo bird do not learn the calls, that is voice, from host bird, but they always show characteristics inherited from their parents, that is cuckoos. The second one is catfish. In fish family, a variety of fish are brood parasite. One of them is cuckoo catfish and its eggs are incubated in mouth of host fish and these eggs hatch before the eggs of host. Therefore, the baby fish eat all the eggs of host and enjoy host parental care. But how to get eggs in host fish mouth? Study reveals that when host female lay eggs, the smell of these eggs excites nearby cuckoo fish to lay eggs as well. During this, Cuckoo catfish quickly start eating the eggs of host before the host mother collect them. In an attempt to collect eggs hastily, host mother also collect eggs of catfish and hence in this way, eggs of catfish gets into mouth of host fish. Number 3 is Insects Like cuckoo bird, there are a variety of insects which manipulate other insects to raise their babies or even work for them. For example, many slave maker ant species make other ants their slave and order them to work. These ants raid the colony of any relative ants and during this raid, they capture as many as 14,000 pupa and then bring them home to start getting work from them. But this raid is not always easy as host colony may resist to be slave. For this, they fight back, and during this fight, hundreds and thousands workers of both colonies may get killed. Even if the raiders succeed, the enslaved ants start rebels and kill the offspring and adult of raiders even after being their slave for a long time. But most of the time, these people start feeling as they are not slave and only working for their own colony. Therefore, they serve the host ants, collect food for them, fight against aliens to defend their nest, and even participate in raids against other colonies to get more fresh slaves. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell for recent updates.